Hello friends, so I have a very cool video for you today. As mentioned in my previous video, reviewing the Kramer Beretta Vintage Reissue, check that one out if you haven't, link is in the description below and at the end of this video, I was able to finally get an original 1987 American series Kramer Beretta and thought I'd do a video comparing the original Beretta with the new reissue, the two guitars being almost 33 years apart in age now. If you want to skip ahead to the song or to my final thoughts, I put time links in the description below. The song I chose to use for this comparison is an 80s style synthwave tune I recently covered that I felt would be good for our purposes here as it features a variety of clean, dirty, heavy, and lead tones. You'll see me switching back and forth between both the Kramer guitars throughout each part of the song, and whichever guitar you're seeing me play on video, that's the guitar you're hearing. This way, you can hear the reissue and the original Beretta back to back on all the different tonal settings. They do have different pickups, the original Beretta having an EMG, and the reissue model a Seymour Duncan JB, so take that into consideration when listening. I'll talk more and give my final thoughts at the end as well, so stay tuned, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in any specific guitars or gears to be reviewed in the future videos. So here's a quick overview of the specs. So this is our 87 American series Beretta in a nice white finish, has an original German made Floyd Rose tremolo, EMG active pickup, one volume, one tone knob which was added after market. We've got a maple body, maple neck, rosewood fretboard, weighs in at 7.5 pounds, it's made in the USA, though I do believe the parts were sourced from Japan and assembled in the US, has a pointy headstock seen in Kramer's later years. Here's a nice angled view of the guitar and a close up of the finish. As you can see, the off-white has a really nice classic look to it, it's in really good condition considering how old the guitar is, a view from the back. Back to the front. And this is our Beretta Vintage Reissue in the ruby red slash neon pink finish. Has a thousand series Floyd Rose tremolo system, Seymour Duncan JB pickup, one volume knob with coil tap, maple body, maple neck, maple fretboard, weighs in at 8 pounds. This one is made in Indonesia and has a banana style headstock, which is a throwback to Berettas from the early 80s that you'll see here. angle view. I do want to comment that the fretwork on this guitar is superb. All the fret ends are smooth, no sharp fret ends. Came with nice low action out of the box without any fret buzz. I didn't need to do any setup other than some intonating and it was good to go. This is surprisingly well made for the price and a great guitar overall. Comparing the two, the necks on both the original and reissue feel quite similar if not the same to hold and play. Unfortunately, I couldn't find exact neck specs for the 87 Beretta, but the reissue neck has a 14 inch radius with a 25.5 inch scale. Both necks are thicker than the Ibanez Super Wizard necks, but still very fast, slim, and comfortable to play while giving something a bit more substantial to hold on to. Both guitars are quite versatile despite the single pickup. The 87 has the added tone knob, and the reissue model can coax a lot of tones by rolling back on the volume, picking near the bridge or the neck, or engaging the coil tap. Build quality is great on both guitars, and the reissue surprised me with how good it was, considering that it was made in Indonesia at a lower price point. All in all, I'll go over which one I decided to keep and why at the end of the video. Now, here's the song.
What's up everyone? Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick summary and final thoughts portion of how I felt the American series 87 Beretta compared to the reissue. I will start then with our American. Alright, so this is the original 87 Beretta American series model. A um, couple immediate differences when I first opened and looked at it. The neck has a bit of a darker tint to it. I think maybe it's just the finish they use. It doesn't feel stickier or any different to me. You know, it plays fast and all that. I think it's just cosmetic, at least from my end. The other difference is it's a rosewood fretboard and there is some wear on the upper frets. You can see there, it's hard to see on the camera, but the upper frets are kind of like worn in a little bit here and it's caused the fret ends to feel a little bit sharper than they probably would be. Again, not a big deal. Doesn't affect the playability at all. Um, and honestly, I'd give a pass on a guitar that's 30 years old. I'm sure it's gotten a lot of play time. The pickup is an active EMG pickup, which someone had put in. It doesn't specify the model, unfortunately, but I really like the sound of it. The weight of the guitar is around 7.6 pounds or so, uh, which is pretty good. It's just slightly lighter than the reissue, which is around eight pounds. The Floyd Rose is an original German Floyd Rose, and it is smoother to use. I mentioned in the past video that I heard these felt a little smoother compared to the Thousand series. Now that I've actually played it, it is. You know, to go up and down, it just feels like smooth. The fine tuning keys move more easily. And this one's cool. It was set up to be floating just a little above the body, so you can move it down and up. Which is a nice, uh, nice thing to have. The quirks with this specific guitar, you know, it's had some mods and I thought that it was really cool. Uh, someone added a toe knob, really helpful, and they put the input jack, they moved it from here to here. Um, I discussed some guys on the forums about it, we were a little bit confused why, but you know, you do need a different stereo input jack, I was told, for an active EMG pickup, so my guess is they were trying to add that jack and this was the best place to put it. I personally love it because having to reach around and put the cord in here is a pain sometimes and to have it in the front like a strap is really convenient. The headstock is the pointed one which uh, you've seen the later years of Kramer I think and what's kind of cool is you can't really see on the camera but the tuning keys say uh, made in West Germany so shows how old this guitar is but it's very cool I feel like I'm holding a piece of history I love it. Okay now Let's get the younger brother, almost 33 years younger. The Beretta Vintage Reissue. This guitar, I already went over it uh, in depth in my past review video, so watch that if you haven't. But the neck here, as you can see, is a lighter tint finish to it. It still feels great, you know, no problems or complaints. It's got the banana style headstock, maple fretboard. Uh, the fret ends on this were great, but this is also like a brand new guitar. I don't expect to see anywhere. The pickup is a Seymour Duncan JB. It's only got one off, but it's got quite a quill tab. Uh, weighs in around eight pounds, so pretty similar to the American Series Beretta, maybe slightly heavier, but not that I notice. Uh, biggest difference between that, this, and the American, as far as playability for me, was the Floyd Rose. This is the Thousand Series. This still works great, holds tune, does what I needed to. I have no complaints with it. But the tuning keys are a little bit like harder to turn, you know, relatively speaking, and the uh, this thing, like the bar, feels a little clunkier. But again, it doesn't really affect playability much, just the feel a little bit. And this one's set up to go down only and not up. It's not floating at all. So those are big differences. Tonally, both sound fantastic. I mean, I can't complain. You know, it's hard to compare because of the pickup differences. You know, this EMG pickup and this GB are going to sound very different from each other, no matter what guitars they're in. So I don't think it's fair to really compare the tonal differences between the two. Feel-wise, 
I like both, and that just surprised me because um, this is obviously good. This American series, you know, everyone said it's an amazing guitar. It's got a lot of history. It's got a good reputation. But the fact that the reissue was something I enjoyed playing just as much as the original, I think says a lot about how good they're making these. You know, they're obviously not the same guitar and, you know, they do have differences in where they're made and quality of parts, but honestly, as far as playability and feel, I can't say I prefer one over the other. So good job on uh, the new Kramer factories. I think they're doing right by these guitars. Uh, as far as which one I have opted to keep, because unfortunately, I need to fund some other gear purchases and I also just don't have space for a million guitars. So if I have two of the same one, um, yeah, I can't keep both. I have opted to keep, and probably to no surprise, the American series. Main reason being just that, you know, these guitars are getting harder and harder to find now, you know, the original ones. And uh, along with that, you know, the prices have been creeping up and the modifications on this one make it very unique, the tone knob, the input jack at the front, things that I actually personally liked and I doubt I would ever find a guitar just like this one again. So I'm opting to keep this and sell the reissue to a very lucky person who I'm sure will enjoy it and make some awesome tunes. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, leave them down below. And if you wanna get a more in-depth review and demo of this one in the future let me know as well other than that until next time rock on and thanks for watching bye